Good morning, Margaret. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing so good. Uh, for those who are listening, we're uh, with Margaret Cho this morning, a three-time Grammy and Emmy nominee. Uh, Margaret, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us this morning. We really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. Uh, Margaret, I, I, I could list off all of, uh, whether it's comedian or actress or fashion designer or author or singer-songwriter, is there anything you're not doing right now? Oh, um, I... I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just uh, it just seems yeah. like uh, so much. Um, but I know you're kind of talking about the, the brand new album you have coming out. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Um, it's called American Myth, and it's a record of uh, songs that I composed and wrote um, with the Garrison Star and a couple of other great, great artists. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's an Americana record. It's a country rock record, I guess. And, uh, you know, but there's some harder rock on it. There's a couple of songs that I do in my comedy shows that are funny, but also um, the album is a sort of a, an expression of my work as a, as a musician, which I, I did a, a comedy music record um, some time ago called Show Dependent, which got a Grammy nomination. And so this is my other, my next, myself more record i guess as a musician absolutely and um, i think like a lot of people margaret um i grew up being a humongous fan in the 90s of your comedy uh i was the kid every you know weekend kind of watching the comedy central you know reruns of your shows and things like that but to to be able to kind of experience your comedy and then see the dramatic side in some of your songs is just unbelievable i mean some of the topic matter and the intensity and the emotions that come out in some of these songs are just incredible. Is there anything that initially drew you to music as a medium that was different about comedy that let you express it in a different way? Oh, well, thank you. But, I, you know, I think that comedians and musicians always have a natural affinity for each other. That We're actually seeing that a lot in the last couple of days with um, Dave Chappelle and Prince. Of course. They were very close. But comedians and musicians always hang out. That's just a... A natural thing. We have the same lifestyle, and so I was always around music, and um, it's most of my social life. You know that that we make music whether anybody's going to hear it or not, and it's fun to do a collaboration like this um, with people. It reminds me of like when Eddie Murphy did um, "My Girl Wants to Party All the Time" with right. Rick James. <laughs> yeah, that, great that song. Sort of thing. Like it's a great song, and then you sort of step outside of what you do sort of but then it, it's sort of a, in, in, in kind of a, I guess a look into an, a, an, a, a social life of, of an artist and, and so that that's that's what this, this is I guess I don't know if it's like the Bacon Brothers am I like the Bacon Brothers or like am I like um, <laughs> maybe uh, uh, Jeff Bridges or some, so, you know that other element of, of doing different kinds of work no, I, I couldn't agree more. And I mean, in terms of uh, social commentary, that is, um, uh, I don't really think you can look to people more than, than music and comedians for some of the best ways of describing the life that we live in at times. Speaking of which, when you listen to songs that I got in a chance to kind of check out, like Come With Me and, uh, you know, Ron's Got a DUI, I mean, these, these topics are certainly prevalent but sometimes not talked about have you gotten a chance to hear directly back from fans about you know maybe the importance of, of some of these songs and, and the difference it's made to them to have someone like yourself kind of speak on these topics well i only well ron's got a dui is a is a video now so people have heard that and they really love it and it's really um it's an homage to an entire generation of gay men who we lost to aids and right. in the video there's um the creation of uh, a panel that's the regulation panel for an AIDS quilt, the AIDS quilt uh, that well, I will attach onto the larger AIDS quilt. Um, it's currently on tour in San Francisco now, I think at Grace Cathedral, but I will sew it onto the panel like when I when I get to it, like when it comes here. So it's um, that that's a beautiful song. And, and Come With Me is uh, the video is done and it's a song that honors and respects sex work, which I think is something that um, we haven't really heard. I don't know if there's a song like that. Maybe Roxanne. Sure. Is yeah, I get to, right. Police. Cool to hear someone actually uh, to kind of maybe take a taboo topic and, and hear that kind of a specific perspective on it. So yeah, I know you're just kind of getting off of uh, touring, I mean, all over the world and then uh, kind of back in the States as of this past month and things like that. Is there a part of touring as a musician that's different than a comedian? And, and if so, you know, what might be the differences? Well, it's still, it's still 
just me doing comedy, and, and then I do some of the songs in the show. But it's not exactly like a full music. You know, I don't have like a band. Right. Um, I just, uh, I, I just have. It's, it's still very stripped down, so it's not um, like a full scale sort of music tour. I don't know if I'll do one of those. Um, it's hard for me to think about separating my comedy career, you know, and, and my music career. To me, it's so, sort of all the same. Sure. So I enjoy that sort of acoustic thing, like having that ability to do both there. Gotcha. And th- now the the new album comes out this Friday, April 29th. I know you can kind of see and get a taste for things at uh, margaretshow.com. Is there another place that uh, people should be looking on how they can pick up this album and uh, and get a chance to experience it? Well, everything's at margaretshow.com, and also I'm all, all posting videos all the time. Uh, the, the two videos, uh, well, three videos now are up online, um, and they can be accessed at my YouTube channel, Um and also, uh, there's um, everything on Twitter. Like, I'm always on Twitter talking about it, and that's at Margaret Cho. Excellent. Thank you so much. Again, guys, it's April 29th. It's this Friday. It is American Myth. It's going to be released as a follow-up to your uh, Grammy-nominated show, Dependent. We really appreciate you taking a couple minutes and filling in our listeners on what you got going on, Margaret. And just an absolute pr- pleasure to uh, to talk to you. Like I said, big fan, so uh, stumbling over myself because it's just great to have a chance Aww. to talk to you about it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Have a great day. You too.